Hey guys, this is Alpha Life Form. I'm playing uh, Endless Legend, and I'm really excited to show you uh, guys this game. It's uh, really, really amazing. Um, I actually couldn't get it to work for the longest time. For some reason, it wouldn't uh, function. I had to make the game windowed mode, so when it, I would actually start a game, it would ask me to uh, whether to allow to connect to the server. Uh, but when it was full screen, uh, it would it would just freeze and not let me click on anything. So I wasn't able to. I thought the game was broken, and I was waiting for like an update from the game makers to fix it or whatever because it initially worked and then it stopped working. But anyway, uh, now that I got that resolved, uh, I want to show you this game. This uh, race here is called the Broken Lords, and they um, do not require food, uh, and they are machine race, um, which is really cool. So let's see, they. Uh, I like to have a lot of dust, and this seems like a really good place to start. I get uh, three, three, two, and four dust, plus a lot of science and uh, a lot of productivity, or whatever the other one is, the gears. Um, so you get, you initially get a hero with two armies or two squads. Uh, your initial armies consist of um, uh, two battalions. Well. Yeah, so it, it'll show you um, if you ran into a minor faction. These are minor factions that you get to destroy and then use to your advantage. With some civilizations, uh, you get to use them into your army. You get to indoctrinate them, and they give you bonuses when they're in your territory, and you build buildings on them, and they become part of you. But this is uh, uh, really cool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to destroy it. Um, science. Let's click on science. I want to start researching the right thing. Uh, I do, I'll, I like to do, where is it, where is it, uh, sewer system, no, uh, where is it, where's my favorite upgrade, I can't find it, I haven't played the game in just a little bit, uh, no, not that, not that, um, where is it, where is it, where is it, it's the one that lets you bribe smaller factions, um, why can't I find it? Maybe they took it out or something. Search party. Uh, there it is. It is that. It just didn't look like it would be that. But anyway, this this one gives you an option to bribe or do something else to the uh, people, uh, like minor factions. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm not gonna attack them yet because uh, I don't have it researched yet. But what it lo it allows me to do is uh, basically bribe instead of fighting, and. Um, this civilization, it what it requires is uh, it needs dust to heal your troops. They don't heal naturally, naturally like the hum um, organic uh, civilizations do. You have to pay for them to get healed. And the uh, cities, I I'm pretty sure you have to pay to get more to get a higher population um, in your city. Uh, I'm I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's the case. Uh, I'm almost 100% sure that that's the case. Uh, it doesn't ever go up unless you capture, again, one of these. And um, But there isn't one in my region, or I haven't found one in my region. I'll, I'll show you how, how that works. You, when you put your city somewhere, it controls a certain amount of region that can't that, that is under your influence. It cannot expand past that influence. Um, it's just a region you control with that city or territory and you can build and expand your city w within that um, territory and keep in mind that when you um, expand your city it also um, makes your citizens less happy so um, yeah I was confused initially I thought that uh, it was the opposite I thought uh, that if you had researched or if I'm sorry if you had you had to expand to keep your people happy, but I was wrong. It's actually the complete opposite of that. So I'm going to go ahead and find whatever tribes are on my region that I control and try and take them out because uh, they, the ones that are closest to you are going to come right after you. And it looks like I've researched that one thing that I wanted. Uh, so now I can bribe them and it costs about 80 gold. So I'm going to do that as soon as I can because fighting is a lot of times more expensive, especially with uh, these uh, certain units and you'll know which ones they are when they get too powerful they they're they get very uh vicious actually for a few turns here i forgot to actually build anything so that's not good but i'm gonna start building now um yeah i'm just gonna start expanding here building a few basic buildings 
Uh, I really, honestly, I never liked these type of games, uh, and I've been a strategy person or strategy game person for a long time, but I never really enjoyed uh, these uh, kind of games like Civilization. I try to get into them, and I just never really enjoyed them as much uh, as I would have uh, liked to. But this game, I really, really, truly love it. Um, I think it's uh, amazing. I love the combat. The combat is like a uh, Heroes of Might and Magic and uh, Civilization kind of put together, um, and that's the game, um, but uh, it, it feels tighter to me, it makes sense to me more, uh, it's, I don't know, it just, I love the art style a lot, more than uh, I would typically do, like on Civilization it looks beautiful, I just, I like this hexagonal kind of, uh, almost, uh, toy-ish look the way you see some of those games I've never played them myself but uh, I think it's like Warhammer or something kind of the, the way they build the landscape for the units and you have these things you can't pass the barriers and that's another thing that I really love about this game is that you have uh, these natural barriers this you can walk past I don't know if that affects in combat like this little uphill if that gives them a disadvantage when they attack you and you'll see how the combat works when I show that but through this they just can't pass and sometimes it makes it really really difficult to assault a city if you place it like uh, here or something they have to walk all the way around uh, it's actually really beneficial to the, the the ground unlike civilization there are things you can't pass through and that's one thing I didn't like about civil the civilization series I don't know about the newer ones I didn't play the newer ones but um or the the latest one but it always felt like there was a lot you could pass through like mountains you like it just takes away some ability to move but it you can just grind through it and get through but in this game there are just things you can't pass through so uh let's see i'm gonna attack just to show you guys how the combat works and it looks like i have a little bit of an advantage uh, i'm gonna go offensive and i'm gonna go uh manual so that's how it works it sets the actual playing field of the real world into a battlefield so like I said I don't know if this barrier here gives them a disadvantage when they attack me if I'm on higher ground or anything but I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case so let's uh, actually you have to click on this ready and then it shows you kinda for your turn where you want each thing to attack so my leader is gonna you can switch that up if you dislike but once you launch it they kinda go automatically and go with the action you told them to go with they don't have a they don't have a, a thing where they... Actually, I might lose this. I don't know. It seems like they're taking an awful lot of health off of me. I probably shouldn't have attacked these snakes. Like I said, certain infantry types. This is heavy infantry. They will... Uh, are too powerful. I, this may have been a really bad idea to assault them. But uh, Either way, I just want to show the combat. Um, and introduce uh, this game to people. And then I'll do a full game probably video later but I just really really wanted to show this off um, love this game uh, might do a second part when I'm later on into the game or something let's launch this but yeah these are uh, most of these this races units are not uh, um, they don't have anything in range but they're very powerful and I will show you guys later how to, you can modify armor on your guys which I don't think they fleshed out completely yet uh, it doesn't your armor what you can give your infantry so it'll make them cost more like different types of armor your leader different swords so he becomes a lot more powerful so you can heal your guys so as you can see healing him is going to cost 100 based on how much life he lost in 62 that's a lot more than 82 gold that it would have cost to bribe them so like i said fighting is not always the best option in this game that's why that research option is very very important uh to uh, do uh things like that um which aren't, uh, which give you benefits like being able to bribe uh, these minor factions. But anyway, uh, let me show you. Um, yeah, like right here, this is. A, oops. Uh, yeah, this is my uh, this leader. Um, I get one. You can buy more of them later if you get the right up upgrade. But all weapons available to me are tier one. They're very weak, just automatic. But yeah, you get to um, change like in Diablo. Very kind of more simplistic, but. Uh, you get to change the shield. So far, the shield will change the look once you give them a different shield, and a sword will look different. And for, same goes for the infantry. You can give them uh, one-handed weapons like spears or two-handed spears. I'm sorry, or one-handed sword and a shield, or uh, maybe uh, different types of helmets. And uh, the look will change with the swords and the shield, but not the armor yet. I, I don't know if they're going to change the look of armor um, to where it'll actually look them more beefy. Your infantry, but. 
Uh, right now, uh, it just changes their stats, um, except for the sword and shield. So, but uh, yeah, you can modify a lot of cool things like that and make your army really, really elite um, and awesome. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I really, and this is by the 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 flood race kind of floody i can't i don't know how to describe them they're like bugs and they're like a hive mind sort of uh, zerg type uh civilization i like them a lot and i like these the machine race a lot because they don't require any food they just go with dust and you can just pay for everything and so as long as you have dust you can just push your way through the economy and buy things so th these guys i think are my favorite as far as economically but uh i can't remember the name of them they're like necromorph is something uh, but they're my favorite looks wise and style wise. So yeah, I love this game. I think everyone should buy it. I think it's amazing. Uh, I love everything about it, to be honest. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of wasn't able to play it because uh, there was a glitch and uh, I was able to resolve it. But, uh, you know, hopefully they fix everything for everyone soon so a lot of people can play. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys subscribe and I will bring more of uh, these videos and those dungeon videos. Uh, later on and i uh, hope you guys have a great day uh, please subscribe and bye bye